Pakistan is more safer than Europe. Thousand or millions of Indian rupees. Oh, we are rich. You know, let's go, let's go. I visit Iran and then Iran opened my eyes. Of course, my family say also, are you crazy you're going to Pakistan? This is how Western countries are presenting Pakistan. Even they don't know what is Taliban, you know, they are just mentioning Taliban. Okay, friend, introduce yourself, first of all. Oh, so I'm Alan. I'm coming from Croatia. For those who don't know, it's in Europe. <laughs> and I'm traveling around the world. Now it's nine months. No, nine months, look at me. Nine years. And I'm currently in Pakistan, in a friend's place. We are trying to fix my car, which is normal when you're traveling so long. And yeah, this is my home. I'm cooking, sleeping here. I don't know how much country I visit till now, but it's around 40 or more than 40. Um, so tell us about um, the best country you visited and why. Why wow. you like it? That's a very difficult question. Because well, I need to be careful what I'm answering. <laughs> but I will be honest, when I started before, like the first travel, first year. I visit Iran and then Iran opened my eyes, opened my like thoughts about what is traveling, like it's completely different culture comparing to the West. And I fell in love. This is why I continue. I stopped working, I sold my company and I try to see if there is other countries like this. So I travel mostly Europe, Turkey, Georgia and some other countries, like I visit Africa. But now I'm here in Asia. So first country will be Iran. A second country will be split between Pakistan and Nepal. There is still chance for Pakistan. <laughs> what was the uh, apprehension before you, you visited, you, you entered in Pakistan? So that's similar how it was nine years ago. When I was entering Iran, everybody was telling me, don't go to Iran, it's a terrorist country, don't go, it will, they will kidnap you, you know, rape you, whatever. So I realized it's not this, it's just a propaganda in the newspaper, in the medias. Also, people are not curious, people don't research, so just, they're just sharing the knowledge what they have. And, of course, I learned that it's not like this, this is not true, and I continue. And after this, of course, my family say also, are you crazy you're going to Pakistan? And yes, sorry, this is how West, Western countries are presenting Pakistan. You know, like it's still this mentioning of war, of Taliban's region. Even they don't know what is Taliban, you know, they are just mentioning Taliban. And for me, of course, I'm feeling super safe. Pakistan is more safer than Europe. If I'm in Europe, I cannot leave my stuff outside, you know, like, I can easily forget my wallet on the, on the table when I'm drinking coffee and then the man will run on, on me and say, ah, you forgot it. You know? In Europe, they will be happy if you forget, you know, they will just take it like barbie. So, yeah, people are more friendly, more open and more... Also more interesting to, to foreigners, you know. It's new for them, so for me it's also this kind of experience of celebrity, let's say. <laughs> yeah, like I can easily say after India especially, you know, everybody's just making selfies, everybody wants to talk. I can say how is, I, I can say that I know a little bit how is to be a celebrity and why they are like hiding themselves because it's hard to have a privacy. So when you travel on the country like this, you feel yourself like a celebrity, you don't have so much free time. This is like a negative point of traveling, but the other one is everybody wants to talk with you, everyone wants to hang with you, like help inviting you, so it's much easier. And people are friendly, you know. Okay, when you talk different countries. Cultural stuff, obviously. Cultural stuff, like, also, big influence has a religion point of view, how they think, like, religious people are more, always more aware of kindness, you know, they want to serve God, so they, they are more kind, let's say. Countries with no religions, 
are more like free, I don't care, it's your life, something like this. So that, that will be one difference. Cultural stuff, of course, you know, habits, how you behave to foreigners. I know in Pakistan and in India and some other countries, it's a really big culture to be hospital to people that you meet. Also, I know in, in Quran and uh, Muslim country, it's kind of like a, not a rule, but it's one of the things you need to do in your life. When you see a foreigner, you should invite him and help him. Like it came from the, I think, from the time when there was a silk, silk road, yeah, people were traveling. And if you see the foreigner, you should help, which is good, you know, as a traveler, it's very good. But you don't have this in Europe. In Europe, let's say, or I don't know. I cannot speak about America so much because I didn't visit those. Let's say about Europe, it's different. They will approach you if you seem like an interesting people, an interesting person. They want to hang with you. But mostly they are, you know, carrying their life, going to work, having a family. Time is very important. That's the really big difference. You know, they say this phrase, time is money, money. And that's true. So just to talk with somebody with no reason, it's not happening. Tell us about your van. Uh, what model, Virian, Type, CC, Turbo, North, everything. Ah, this is a special car. <laughs> so it's a Volkswagen T4, 1999, diesel. Uh, it served me now nine years. I didn't have any problems till this year. Slowly stuff are has to be repaired, so only some problems like now. But I'm really happy, like this German <laughs> quality, it's, it proves itself. 1.9 turbo diesel. Uh, that's practically very simple, not so many electronic inside, so it's easy to repair. As you are filming, I build this everything to be my home. Uh, and, uh, many people ask me about the car and stuff about and they want to have like this so I just say like just buy a car and build it slowly like I first time when I bought it I just built some boxes I was sleeping on the box putting stuff on the box and then slowly year by year I make it more comfortable so yeah I'm using solar panels I have two solar panels which are 120 watts and the blue thing you're recording was a solar computer which is charging my battery and this time I have a good battery which I will recommend everybody just pay more money and be more free <laughs> it's Can I a, open this? yeah it's a mess but okay. not like it. here are like spices oh, yes. yeah and here are like glasses and a blender and stuff yeah. so there is a kitchen for cooking with pots there are stuff like pottery and actually there are many stuff. This is what you can see, that what, what are mostly used. Yeah, when you are driving, so this is like a food. But everything is a space. Yeah. When you traveler want to travel, how much uh, you need money? Ah, I'm spending three times less than I will spend in my country. But I'm very, very, I'm traveling on the budget. So I'm not the type of traveler who has money and who is just traveling and spending. I have my budget and this budget is always the same. It's around 450 to 450 to 500 euro per month. And then that includes everything. Like visa, diesel, car repairing, uh, flights, food, accommodation, whatever. So this is like what I'm spending and from this money, let's say if it's 500, half of the money is going to the car every month because of diesel and like now <laughs> repairing sometimes more. So let's say my personal thing, my personal money for my care and food will be around 200 euro, which I think it's good. And I survive with this also in Europe because mostly I'm cooking. Like here in, uh, let's say, countries which are more affordable, Pakistan, Iran, Nepal, India, I don't cook so much because it's easier just to buy than to cook and then wash and you lose time. But if you want to buy in Europe, you need like 10 euro. So if you want to have two meals, it's 20 euro. 
So 20 euro multiplied by 10 is 200, by 3 is 600, only for food. Uh, not possible. Give me one line and answer, reply. Are, is word good or not? That I cannot answer in one line, you know, it's not possible. Like, so you you know, friends are good. Hmm. People, they care about you are good. Uh, also random people are good. But if you compare, like in the percent, people in Muslim country to, to me are more friendly, to me, because I'm foreigner. So I'm talking from my perspective. I don't know how they are in between. So my experience, of course, I have more good experience here according to helping and you know just being polite than in Europe and that's a normal thing. Any any worst experience during this travel? Yeah, Spain. What? How? So they broke my car like a window, they ran inside, tried to find something to steal. They didn't find because it was mess and then they left. But I still was with a broken uh, window, broken this lock and stuff. It's so no big loss? No big loss. Other than the broken Like a uh, wallet like this, full of money, but that was only souvenir money, you know, from other countries. So probably that sell him, you know, when they see like thousands or millions of Indian rupees, like, oh, we are rich, you know, let's go, let's go. <laughs> any, in, in, in any country of the world, share oh. with us. One, two, three. Like, I'm not the type of traveling who is going visiting mosques or temples, or even though I am, but I'm more interested on people and the culture. I li like to be lost in the small villages, you know, remote places. So for me, those are the most beautiful experience when I see pure, uncorrupted people who, you know, are just living simple life and you can feel the love coming from them. So. This, for me, it's very good experience. Those kind of experience I have north of India, I have in Pakistan, like many in Pakistan, I stay in sugar, yeah? Sugar. sugar. sugar for almost two months. Uh, Iran, Cape Mahar. Georgia is very good. Turkey, Turkey is, a little bit Turkey is going more to European, European culture now, but Turkey is nice. It's hard to tell one, you know? Yeah. Okay. Uh, like, uh, do you, uh, how would you like to explain it? If you go to India and uh, you talk about Pakistani people, what do they think? And oh. you come to Pakistan and you so, talk yeah. about Nepalese people. Actually, I wanted to make a video about this topic. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and but I didn't make it. My idea was to ask the same question. But well, what I can say it's uh, something that sorry India, but. Indian people, mostly in the north, in Punjab, they are not telling good stuff about Pakistan. Which I was surprised, even the small kids, you know, going in the school, they were telling me randomly, we don't like Pakistan, we don't like Pakistan people. And I say like, why don't you like, you know, give me some, like, do you know them? Like, no, did you ever go to Pakistan? No. Do you know some Pakistan? No. How can you hate? How can you not like? But it's in the brain, you know, it's like, and, Contrast to this is in Pakistan. People are always saying we are the same. We are India, we are the same country. We want to be with Pakistan, we want to go there, you know. Like, so Pakistan people, they don't have anything against Indian people. Indian people, not all of them, you know, like mostly North and not educated people, they don't have good opinion about uh, Pakistan. So that's a big difference. Hmm, it's a difficult question. And I, I love to ask this question. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I saw many beautiful girls, but it's it's not good to judge people only by obviously, the look. The problem is in India and in Pakistan and in Nepal, it's that you cannot reach to this person, so you cannot talk. And then actually you're just judging by the look. And I cannot talk about this, yeah? so I can just say and I don't know the person. So that's the biggest, let's say, yeah. Uh, I told, I, I never meet Nepal, Nepal, Nepalian girl. I never talk with a Nepalian girl, only in the market. 
so you know it's hard to say something in India also like this and in Pakistan in different cultures it's more reachable you can just have a friend you can go to drink coffee and then you can have opinion so this is why it's a difficult question one important stuff if you want to know more follow me on alan.kuskar